Hi everyone. Uh, as usual, for this Saturday night, I'm here to talk with you about the latest episode of Mad Men. This will be episode seven of the series of season five. Um, now, I'm just going to talk with you about the overall story. I'll talk about the title later uh, as to uh, what it may or may not mean. Basically, the storyline is this: you've got uh, Sally basically talking to creepy Glenn again uh, for reasons of wanting comfort from the uh, overly bloated scary aunt who coincidentally trips on Sally's phone cord when she's talking to Glenn and breaks her ankle which forces her to have to live with Don and Megan. Um, that's a beautiful beautiful thing because that means she gets freedom to be herself. I love that. Um, another thing that happens in this episode that's really, really noteworthy is that um, together, uh, Megan and Don uh, pull off the Heinz account at the dinner where they're going to be fired. It's a, it's a power play of magic. They're basically like um, Bonnie and Clyde, just working together to make sure that this man's business is theirs. And Megan's idea about what Heinz should be uh, as a generational thing is brilliant and really really works. The only unfortunate part of the idea being so good is that we now know that Megan's heart is not in the advertising business and that she'd rather be doing acting or singing or both uh, and that's clearly uh, shown on her face through her interactions with Don and other people like her parents who are visiting to see Don get the award for condemning smoking uh, because it causes cancer. Um, I really, really, absolutely adore and enjoy what they did with Megan here and giving her more breadth and space to have her own little story here. Um, another interesting thing we learned is that uh, Peggy wants to marry Abe, but Abe decides, nope, all I really want to do is move in. And when um, she learns that information, it hurts her a bit, I'll be honest. I think that the look on Elizabeth Moss's face when she found out that um, Abe did not want to marry her just to move in was a bit crestfallen. Um, and I love that. I love that with a single look, Elizabeth Moss can really convey every emotion she's feeling in her head as her character. I really really love the fact that, um, you know, she was able to convey her own pain. Um, and um, for me, this episode was good in some ways and bad in others. I hated Megan's parents. I hated the way they treated Don. But I love the way we, we saw Sally grow up a little. You know, the dress for the party. I thought she was going to have Something a little bit more elegant, a little bit less swinging in the 60s, but apparently not. Um, the the shock that she received later on about uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sterling um, getting a blowjob from Megan's mother and her shock and, I guess, really just agonizing, you know, fright from having seen such a dirty scene. Uh, really was uh, uh, eclipsed later on when she was talking to uh, Glenn about how New York is. And the last line of that particular scene is that it's dirty. Um, I really love that. Um, I think that this was a good episode overall, but it had some blemishes. I think that, you know, we now know that Don clearly loves Megan, but is Megan as devoted to Don. You know, will she stay devoted to Don or will she follow her dreams? We'll have to find out next ep episode because you know what? I, I truly never, never know with her. Uh, and I hope we get to find out more about her soon. So that's my little bit of a recap of the main events of Mad Men. Tell me what you thought of the episode and we'll talk about it in the comments below. If you have any questions as to different events that happened in the episode, please don't be afraid to let me know. Uh, and if you had a favorite scene from this week, please share. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.